Here is the skylight at the front entrance to our villa. It's a void space that goes up two floors, letting in natural light to create a grand entrance with nice cladding and this massive pivot door. You can see how the door closes. But we want to achieve this in all the villas that we renovate because it adds so much value and natural light before the villa stopped here. This was the front door. We pushed it out to create this extension with the void space that gives a lot of natural light both upstairs and downstairs to create this grand entrance. I hope we can achieve this in green community as well. Now let's go upstairs so I can show you how it looks from there. Now these are the lit staircases that we created. We also do this in all of our projects with the lighting underneath each staircase. Okay, so here is the view from the upstairs. Nice window, and there's the front door. And here is the skylight. Another option is to hang a big chandelier from there all the way down, which we have not done in this villa, but that's uh, an option we can do. And you can see the cladding goes all the way to the top to add a consistent design with a mirror at the bottom and the other side. Very beautiful. Now up here, we also did a lot of custom changes like these lights facing the wall. And in the master bedroom, we created this walk-through closet straight to the master bathroom, which has a double shower and a beautiful view of the park. So this is the money shot where you have a basketball court, our backyard right here, with lots of trees, lots of nature all around you. And the view from the master bedroom is even better because we have a floor to ceiling window that's as tall as we could make it right here. So it's actually a balcony, but you look at that natural light. It's a grand window. Normally these windows are very small, but again, we want to achieve this in every property that we renovate because big windows are popular. Big windows are good. We like natural light. Now the bedroom itself is also nice with furniture, paintings, and you can see we added no skirting. Uh, I'll show you in the hallway. Do you see how there's a little gap? It's not normally done. This is like a luxury style where you have a gap between the floor and the wall so that you don't need skirting. Just adds another touch of minimalism where less is more. Now each of these bedrooms have their own bathroom. So it's five bedrooms upstairs. But there is one Jack and Jill which shares a bathroom. Not this one. This is a separate ensuite. So there's four bathrooms and five bedrooms upstairs. Because we added extensions. This was outside the villa, right here where I'm standing. I'd be floating in the air. When we first bought the villa, this had like an S shape. Now we squared off the villa, so it's completely rectangular now but it added uh, about 800 square foot built up area. Not quite, less than 800, but it's quite a big achievement and it adds a lot of value because most of the time we spend in Dubai indoors, especially during the summer months, as we know, it gets very hot. Okay, and that's the tour upstairs. Won't go into every bedroom, they're all quite similar. Let's go back downstairs and I'll show you the kitchen with a dirty kitchen. We actually built a separate kitchen for the smelly cooking that you don't want permeating through your house. So here we are downstairs. Again, massive windows for natural light with bifolding doors, sorry, sliding doors. No, no, these are bifolding. Yes, bifolding doors that open up completely. 
Let's see here. Like this. So you can see the backyard is very beautiful. And there is just an indoor outdoor feel here for having it, for opening it up completely. Here's the kitchen. So the kitchen has this nice stone countertops consistent with the backsplash and melee appliances, high end, everywhere, including the dirty kitchen, which we are still doing a little bit of touch ups, snagging in. But this is where we have the washer dryer, a separate fridge, and the barbecue, which is just outside that door, outdoor barbecue. Now this is a secret entrance. When you close this, you can't even see it, right? It just, just looks like another wall. Maybe you're thinking cabinet space or just nothing. Now we do have the fridge here as well. The fridge is hidden right here. You can see it, nice big fridge with storage up top. But you couldn't tell it's a fridge because of the design we chose. Now there's another fridge in the dirty kitchen. Did you see it? It's right. Oh, trying to squeeze by a bit fat. Here. How do I open it? <laughs> this side. See? Same design. Same size. Just two kitchens instead of one. And there's also a movie room, which I forgot to show you, and the powder room. And let me show that to you now. Let me show you the garden. We have a natural tree. This is not a fake tree. It's a real tree. See? Real. Maybe you can't tell from the video, but this is real. You have to water it. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll die. Here is the guest bathroom. Nicely designed. And did you notice that the doors are the same color as the wall? That's another design choice we made. Frameless doors. So they look like they're part of the wall. Very cool. Here is the movie room, which we have not set up yet with a projector because it'll be up to the buyer of how they want to furnish this room. It could be a movie room, could be a study, office, kids room, anything they like. But it's a separate space, which was only possible because we extended the villa with a nice little counter here for refreshments. And yeah, that's it. I'll give you one last view of our kitchen, living space, backyard, family, entertainment, and the future home of a big screen TV right there <laughs> and the entrance ah let's end it with the skylight shot oh the carpet hasn't been rolled up or rolled out yet let's take a look at the let's end it where we started the skylight beautiful skylight lots of natural light love it all right actually let me just show you the outside as well here is the outside So I'm just opening the door here. So it's a beautiful landscape, aluminum fence. It will not rust. Tall trees in your backyard. Let's see the view from the street, the curb appeal. So you can see the house right here. Almost 4,500 square foot built up on an almost 6,000 square foot plot, properly utilized, and this garage will be enclosed completely with glass here, but that's still to be done. And uh, you can see along the side of the house, you have this beautiful walkway, 
very nicely cleaned and maintained. A little bit of bird poop, but what can you do? With trees sprinkled around and nice small plants all along the edge. And then the big backyard. Oh, and we should see the house from the back. Which is right here. Beautiful house. If I must say so myself. <laughs> a bit biased. What do you guys think? I think it's a beautiful house, don't you? You can hear the crows in the background, birds chirping. And this takes us back to the barbecue. With its own sink. And a separate maid's room, right here. Nicely designed, with proper AC. Not some standalone unit. And then a nice toilet, shower. Okay. All right. And then we have the garage. With an automatic garage door. And we'll install an AC right there so that the garage will have a nice cool space for the cars. This is like a little utility room for all the networking and internet stuff. You can see the patch panel, which we ordered from Amazon. <laughs> I personally ordered it actually. It's a nice clean spot for all the networking and internet. And that's it. Take care, Freedom Family. This is a Freedom Home. We built it as the company Freedom Family. But actually, it's Fortis for Building Contracting LLC, which is the actual company name. <laughs> but I like the brand Freedom Homes because we have a YouTube business called Freedom. YouTube.com slash freedom. Type it into your web browser to see our YouTube business where I make videos. I made over a thousand videos and counting at that YouTube channel. We also have a website called Heartbeat, our new platform. Check that out at h.ki, world's shortest domain, three characters, h dot ki, h key, as I pronounce it. And that's Heartbeat. And that's our future. We are building Heartbeat as the YouTube that once was. You'll see a lot of my videos on Heartbeat but it's for you as well. You can create moments around any YouTube video using Heartbeat. Anyway, check it out. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. All right, till the next episode, I'm George, and you've been watching The George Show on location in Dubai, in the meadows. Take care, bye. This is the final product. Before we had tiles down there, now it's all grass. It's artificial grass, but it looks like real grass. The neighbor set up a pergola next to his pool that wasn't there before. And we have a beautiful interior design. Look at this masterpiece that we created with new floors, new electrical, new AC, new everything. Now the view is of a park. That is our backyard. Well, backyard and then the park. That's a basketball court. Then there's a community pool through the trees over there. I'll show you from the master bedroom. Let's go have a look at the master bedroom. This is not the master bedroom, although it does have its own ensuite with some fancy lights here that you can see right here. Nice marble tile. Actually, this is porcelain, not marble, my mistake. But it looks like marble, does it not? Very shiny and beautiful. Let's move on to the master bedroom. And this is a new addition, this entrance, which is a void space from over the two floors. Look, that's the front door right there. This is the cladding we installed right up to the skylight. A beautiful skylight letting in natural light 
to the entrance, a grand entrance. No villa in Meadows has it except ours because we built it. Nice glass railings. Okay, here is the master bedroom. The master bedroom has a beautiful view of the park. We staged it with furniture, as you can see, this bed, and uh, lamps and a few knickknacks. Look at the size of this window. Floor to ceiling, as tall as we could possibly make it, so that you could have as much natural light as possible of the park. Now you can see the pool there in the distance through the trees. Actually, you can't really, can you? But it's there. You can see a little bit of the water. That's the kiddie pool. So that community pool is 13 meters by 13 meters wide. It's a very, sorry, 13 feet by 13 feet wide. It's, uh, it's a big pool. Wait, is it 13 meters or 13 feet? I'm getting mixed up. I think it's 13 meters. Okay. This is the master bedroom. Now we go to the master bathroom. Also a beautiful view with a double shower right here. Very luxurious and a massive tub. This will fit four people. <laughs> well, at least two comfortably. And then we have this nice sliding door for privacy. So you can just close this. Dip. And you can still see outside, but it's darkened when they're looking in. Okay, 